Look at this. Record store day is around the corner now, we can really say it, which is days away from the biggest day of the year in our little world. And we have almost everything. Almost everything. Almost everything yep. is in. And yeah, we got so, just a couple more that we'll wind up going over at the end of this video, just to let you know. But yeah, but for the most part, we have a lot to go through. Yeah, if you missed part one or two, go to our YouTube channel and check those out as well. But yeah, hey. Unbox the stuff. Yeah, let's we have to, let's go. to get through. Let's see. Let's see. You want to start us off? Yeah. See what's in here. Uh, I didn't plan this. Yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh. Sure. <laughs> this the is the one I've been answer. most anticipating. This is Tinted Windows. It's a super group, a Power Pop super group. Never before on vinyl, so happy to see that. So you might have to tell some people who's in this Oh, okay. Band, I mean, I figure not right. everybody yeah. might know. Yeah, this true. happened around 2010-ish, uh, I believe. Uh, this is uh, James from Smashing Pumpkins. We've got Taylor from Hanson, the mm Bop Kids. We've got... Uh, <laughs> Poor guy, he's the mm Bop Kids. <laughs> right. We've got <laughs> Bunny <laughs> Carlos <laughs> from uh, Cheap Trick and Adam Schlesinger from Fountains of Wayne. So this was uh, the cream of the crop doing what they do best, power pop. So, uh, yeah, super happy to see this. I can't believe it actually exists. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, get them before Sue gets them all. <laughs> no, 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 we're playing by the rules. Right. Don't worry. All right, the 1975, this is live in Manchester 2023, pressed on white vinyl. Sweet. Very nice. I guess I would just give them all. Yeah, we got an empty box here. here. Oh, for all my K-pop fans out there, we got AT's The World EP Fen. Record store day exclusive. Oh, and this got a collectible photo ticket on it. It's a, uh, a random 12-inch color, so you don't know which one you're going to get. And a bonus 7-inch disc with two unreleased songs. Very excited about this. Nice. All right. Let's do something else I'm familiar with. This is a uh, Military Gun. This was a... Uh, Kind of one of the bigger bands, or the bands with the most buzz going on right now in the, uh, I guess, alternative punk underground, Military Gun. This is an EP that they recently put out for the first time uh, on vinyl. Yeah, that looks really good. Yeah, too. I that, that was a great album. So is that like bonus tracks that didn't make uh, It's actually uh, remixes. Uh, I think it's remixes of three songs from the record with uh, a oh. no effects cover, maybe. Oh, yeah, nice. Whoops, uh, OD is the and no effects like, cover. Uh, it looks like they're like um, features, like... Bully, Features, yeah. Mannequin Featuring Pussy. Bully, Mannequin Pussy, Manchester Orchestra, which is kind of weird. Yeah. For a punk band, but oh yeah. That is interesting. Not bad. You know that guy from Manchester Orchestra did like on the last um, Every Time I Die album it was on there. Oh, I thought sweet. it was kind of weird, but it was, like, it was a highlight of the record. Yep. Anyway, um, this is one that we're all really excited about. Yeah. <laughs> Finn Lizzy, that's, yeah, basically like a continuation of Life and Dangerous. I think it was in a box set. Yeah, they, right? they did a big box set that was very limited. So this is a so, chance to get some of those songs. Hammersmith, right. one of the most legendary venues, I guess, in rock history. Yep. yep. With the lineup. Awesome. Yeah, that that's going to be That is a killer one. Let's see, we've got a couple more 1975. Oh, yeah, so we're moving those to the yeah. back. Yeah. Uh, how many yep. we got America. 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 Little George Martin conducting the symphony orchestra. Sweet. That yeah, was live from the Hollywood Bowl in 1975. Uh, you know, you know, it's got a uh, two LP setup, and I'm see if there's any. Yep, and just a natural color vinyl is what they call it. Natural, natural color. Nice. Old school. Yeah. <laughs> got some amorphous. Uh, I was a fan of amorphous in their early death metal days. I know they morphed over the years. I don't know what era of the band this is from. But I'm assuming this is a reissue. Uh, yeah, the 1997 classic record. Oh, so that's like early days. Yeah. It's uh, available as a standalone EP for the first time ever. So I'm assuming it was a part of a box set at some point. But now you can get it on vinyl. Very it's nice. Blue vinyl. All right. I'll go ahead and take that one apart. All right. And this is, yeah. <laughs> Not what you think at first glance. <laughs> it's Corey Taylor. Um, Meets in a slipknot. That yeah, looks yep. exactly like what they yep. were spoofing. Yeah, so this That's is cool. uh, so, <laughs> so this is his uh, his two B. It's it's a continuation of the uh, Corey Motherfucking Taylor Part Two, and uh, done for uh, Record Store Day. Um, is there a specific color on that one? Candy yeah. floss, whatever that means. Nice. Candy floss. Nice. All right. Candy floss. Oh, All right. Oh, ah, this is one we were talking yeah, about here. earlier this week. Might be a big, bigger hit. Then. Yeah. 
in case you didn't know, this is malfunction. This is pretty much the very beginnings of the uh, Seattle grunge scene. This was um, Andrew Woods' first band. Chris Cornell heard this band, started Soundgarden. Uh, Andrew Wood really? uh, left this band, started Mother Love Bone. Andrew Wood died. Eddie Vedder <laughs> joined Mother Love Bone, and here we are. Damn. All right. So yeah, this is ground zero. I like that for that nice. entire thing. First time ever on vinyl. It's pressed on a purple, yeah. Yep, yeah. we've been needing the world has been needing this. Here it is, finally available. Not sure if we got a whole bunch of them, so get here early. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's one you might want to come in early yep, for. Yep. Um, we have Keen. Um, I don't know if they're as big over here. You know, for when they first started out in Europe, they were a huge deal. Yep. Um, I know my life, my wife loves them a lot. These are great songwriters, great singer. Um, this is actually from like kind of the early days, a live show from 2004. Um, probably gonna pick one up for Kim if there's still some left because again, gotcha. I'm playing by the rules. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, some Sonic Youth. So next on our list, yeah, we got Sonic Youth, Hits Up for Squares, and a uh, gold nugget color vinyl. And what's really cool is, is uh, this particular one is actually coming in a gold foil jacket on the oh, inside sweet. of it. Okay. It's actually, it's really neat, so definitely looking forward to it. So these are all, uh, I don't know if you do have this here, but like... Collaborations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it is collaborations. I see Beck, Brady. There's some yeah. big names oh, on here. David Crosley. Chloe Savigny, so we got comedians and actresses. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Interesting. <laughs> so so we got military gun. Yep. All right. We got The Weekend, live at the SoFi Stadium. Let's see if you want to take that one and we can kind of show the back of it as well. I just found out this weekend he has the most streamed song on Spotify, which I found interesting. Oh, yeah. Several really? billion which one? streams. I wonder if it's a uh, it was TikTok thing going on honest. or something. I don't know. I don't know. If you guys know, let us know. Because, yeah, that's... <laughs> the weekend. Yeah. You really give too, too much about it on there, huh? Other than the fact it's just a live album. Yeah. 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 It's not my wheelhouse, so I couldn't... Tell you much about it, but I mean, if you feel that stadium, you, yeah, you he made doesn't it. Need, <laughs> right. He doesn't need my listenership. <laughs> the Sisters of Mercy. Oh, oh nice. Oh, yeah. This, this, is, the yeah. All right. this is the 40th anniversary of two classic EPs, all on one record, uh, and the uh, Blue Smoke Vinyl. That's, That's the cool. color. Glad to have this here. I haven't had a whole lot Couple of Sisters of, of Mercy yeah. over the years. Um, got a little bit for Chaz, Chet Baker. people here, Chet Baker and Jack, Jack Sheldon. Sheldon. This is from 1972. Nice. Sweet. So we got next. That might be a big one. Ah, uh, yeah, my oh, wife yeah. is going to flip when she's <laughs> Cranberries, bury the hatchet. Ah, uh, this is a good one. Yeah, it's, you know, finally for the first time it's complete with sessions available on vinyl. So we've got Promises, Animal Instinct, and Just My Imagination. So, you know, I don't know how many of these we got. We'll have to, yeah. you know, at, um, as we're going through, but definitely get here early, because especially if you're a Cranberries fan. Yeah, this was not something you can get before, so. Yeah. Good to see it now. Let's see. The reissued 1963 Blues Festival. Math Guitar, Murphy, Memphis Slim, and Sonny Boy Williamson. Got a little blues. Oh, All right. Got a couple copies of that. And then I might have to get this to Evan. You, yeah, that looks oh, fancy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It yeah, looks yeah. really cool. Like, yeah, this is it. definitely in my real house. <laughs> Asking Alexandria, Reckless and Relentless. That's another gold one this time. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, I guess that's a thing. So, yeah, really excited about this one, guys. Yeah, I hope this comes across on camera. So I know, cool. right? Yeah, it does. Gold foil. So, yeah, definitely come and check it out. Um, then we have Wall of Voodoo Live. Uh, in 1979, at the barn, University of California. Sweet. I'm oh, very sure excited about big this big one too. Oh yeah, yeah. poppies, oh, eat. So yeah. one little side note, maybe at this point is like, as a store, you don't always get as much as you actually order. Right. Some some titles are so popular that there's more orders than copies. So right. sometimes you get less than what you actually wanted. Yeah. This know is there's one some... that we're not gonna have a whole lot of. Yeah. So if you're eyeing this, might want to come in a little yeah. early. Yeah. Just yeah. wanted to kind of yeah. some of the the most requested titles were some of the most allocated this right. year. So. Yes. We, we ordered tons of some and got very little, so... Yeah, and speaking of ones that we got very little on, which I'm really excited about too, is uh, Him, 
on a hardogram vinyl. That's actually really cool. <laughs> it's got Bury Me Deep Inside, Heart and Poison Girl on it. Uh, yeah, like this is one, definitely, like if you're interested in it. Very low on the allocation line. Um, you know, definitely, you know, be sure to try to get here early. So I'm just going to show that up a little bit. All right. There you go. Cool. All right. Then we have U2. Um, so, yeah, this is uh, Atomic City from the, the Sphere in Vegas, the, that amazing new venue. I haven't seen it yep. myself yet, but, I mean, it looks just so cool. Custom made video. You too. Yeah, that is like, I mean, I can see how they were the band. That I think they got to play, play their first. first, and, I mean, it's and perfect. perfect. Well, it's well, it's like, 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 when we saw them up in New Orleans, I mean, they were amazing, especially with all their visual effects. So I can only imagine as to what they were doing in the sphere. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a huge U2 fan, but I would definitely see them at that place. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I would love that. Oh, yeah. So what do we have here? The amazing, the infamous String Dusters, Silver Sky. Are you guys familiar with these? Mm -hmm. I'm no. not, I gotta be honest. American kind of vibes, so. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. We got yeah. one. Okay, no, at least one of those. <laughs> All right, oh, then Dio. Dio. Yeah, Dio is kind of a staple of Records Today in recent years. Um, this is the last in live, so, last in line tour. Um, on a picture disc. Sweet. More. Another picture disc. Another, another, picture, disc. another picture disc. This one is The Offspring Splinter. It's their 20th anniversary edition pressing on a picture disc here. You see on the back of it. head exploded yeah. off. That's actually really cool. I like that a lot. I'm not even a huge fan of picture discs. Nah, and I actually like that. Either. Are The Offspring. <laughs> wow. Wow. I Tara? have to say, Tara, I, have a, I have a soft spot for The Offspring. <laughs> I guess just my age. I was like yeah. 12 when Americana came out and that was... That was big for me. So we actually missed <laughs> this one uh, on Black Friday Record Store Day is when this was originally supposed to come yeah. out. This oh, was yeah, announced for Black Friday last yeah. year. It didn't yeah. happen. It's finally happening now. This is Paulie Shore. If the, uh, anyone my age grew up on MTV in the 80s. This is the Paulie Shore with his garage band of uh, miscreants doing <laughs> cover songs. So pretty interesting. Kind of a novelty, but so we gotta... something I'd like to have. See some those. people getting yeah. nostalgic. Yep. A few of those. All right, what we got here? Um, what is I this? I don't even recognize this. Do you, do you know? Is this record store? <laughs> there? Is it Dead and Devil? Oh, Demi Devil. Demi Devil. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I'm actually. So that would like just a bunch of guys. I'm actually I'm not very familiar with this, but this yeah. is actually this looks cool. amazing. This has probably got the best Demi looking Devil. cover yeah. award so far. <laughs> this is really. Yeah, you know, it's got like a um, Tiny Tina's playground, uh, you know, on it. Yeah. Or Tiny Tina's Wonderland, my bad. Yeah, yeah so. this, this looks like it cost a lot to print. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's actually really cool. All right, that looks like something right. we've already shown. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, MXM Tune. Um, this is Plum Blossom. It looked a little like Tori so, Amos at first. <laughs> but, yeah. But, yeah. Um, what else do I do? For the first time, all original songs on vinyl. So that's the hype sticker. Yep. Very nice. A few of those. Okay. All right. Where should we go next? Uh, Why don't I grab this since I see it staring oh. at me? So here we've got um, Eric Carr. This thing looks impressive. Let's see. Can I do that? Yeah. I don't know how oh. it works. We did it earlier. There, oh, there, there it is. Oh. That is sick. It only works for Stu. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, apparently he's got the power to do it. Because none of us have been able to. But yeah. I've not, that's pretty neat. Eric's car's eyes light up. So, this is, um, I guess, some more solo stuff he did during the that's Creatures good. of the Night era, based yeah, on that's the, what it looks like. the look of the design. Yeah. So, yeah, we got a couple of those. All right. Here Kiss fans looking for rarities, get here early. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah there was one Eric car last year, I think. That was a big hit. Yeah. Um, that that yeah, went bad. quick. Um, we Wallows. That's a fifth. Fifth anniversary of Nothing Happens. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, uh, next month we have a new Wallace album yep. coming out. We're yep. gonna have and a listening party, party, by the way. Yeah. Oh, nice. Just throwing that in there. Let's see what else we get? Susie yeah. and the Banshee. Nice. nice. Oh, it's a big one. It's a gatefold, maybe even a trifold. Not a gatefold. Susie and the Banshees. Uh, 40th anniversary remastered from the original source tape. So this one's gonna sound good. Very nice. nice. Sweet. And for those of you that made it to our Pearl Jam listening party, 
uh, last weekend. Here is their record store day version of Dark Matters. Yes. We got to listen to it early uh, during the list party, and it was a very good album. Highly recommend it. So yeah, definitely make sure you get here for it. What is the what is different about the RST version? I think again? it's just a different color. color. Yeah. I think. Okay. The colors. Yeah, it's just a, match, yeah, it's like a different variant. Matches the cover or something along those lines. Cool. Yeah, the album itself only comes out this Friday, so brand new stuff there. Um, we got Chris Isaac, uh, Beyond the Sun, recorded at Sun Studio um, on a special Ruby vinyl. And he's standing edition. in front of the Sun Studio's window on the cover. Pretty sweet. Very nice. Then. Ah. Biggest band in Canada. <laughs> Tragically, <laughs> hip. Tragically hip. Um, Only at CBGB's. 1993. Yep. Oh. All right. You should know what that is just by the back cover. Yep. The Lord is Sorbidian. Are you listening? Speaking of Crank Race from earlier. This is very nice. Uh, let's see. Yep, it was her debut album on the iconic singer from the Cranberries, released on double white vinyl for the first time. So, again, if you're a Dolores fan, if you're a Cranberries fan, you should get here for that. All right. We actually got some Jerry Garcia this time. Yeah. Jerry Garcia. Wouldn't be a record store today without any yeah. Jerry right for the in the What is it this time? Let's see. <laughs> Electric on the Eel, June 10th, 1989. Pressed on neon green vinyl. All right, nice. And of course, it also wouldn't be Record Store Day without yeah. one of my favorite yeah. bands. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. the Supersonic and Demonic Relics. Yeah, some kind of like compilation. Uh, this, There's a, I feel like they might have been like kind of like Primal Scream. Because Primal Scream was never on a actual okay. album. Angela, which I think is totally underrated. Anarchy in the UK. So, so, so were they doing like re, uh, like remixes or anything like that on there? Uh, it's like live and rare cuts, previously unreleased rare cuts. Okay. Yeah, I, th I think it's like stuff that weren't album tracks. Is kind of what I get. Yeah. Oh, gotcha, you gotcha. Got you. First Don't album official, on that. official vinyl release. Nice. Yep. All right. Ah, at the drive-in. You're excited about it. Oh, yeah. That. yeah. So the, these, one of the early uh, at the drive-in records uh, hasn't been repressed a whole lot, or if at all, since the original pressing. And let's see, the long out-of-print sophomore album, album limited to 6,500 copies. Nice. So any at the drive-in fans or Mars Volta fans, they want to snatch this up. And then here, so this is a little bit, I'm, I'm going to just be honest, this is a little bit of a weird one on John Lennon's Mind Games EP. Mind Games is probably my second favorite John Lennon album, I absolutely love it, but this is like kind of like a shorter version okay. of it. Um, so it's not mixes. the whole album, but with different mixes. Uh, yeah, and I'll take. Like, it's kind of weird, it's like a kind of companion piece to an amazing album. Um, but yeah. Still, I mean, it is John Lennon. <laughs> so. I mean, you can't go wrong. Yeah. It'll be going instantly. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it's glow in the dark, too, yeah. so, you know. <laughs> All right. And let's see, we've got Elton John's Caribou. Let's see, it looks like this is going to be a record store day exclusive, so it's going to be a uh, 2 LP on 180 gram with a uh, sky blue vinyl. Now that's okay. a pretty readily available used record. Is there yeah. Right, special correct. about it? Or? Um, yeah, so it's actually got the album, but then there's also like newly compiled, like, uh, you know, like there's like a bonus track. Okay. You know, like a bunch of bonus tracks that are on there. Um, so I think that the second LP is basically all Right, yeah. Yeah, it's movies. all bonus tracks. Gotcha. Yeah, so you've got like Snigger, Cold Highway, Pinball Wizard, and the Bitches Back on there, but it's like a radio mix. Gotcha. This is just right. stuff we've already showed you guys. Some more Pearl Jam, Susie, Motley Crue. Oh, nice. Daft Punk. Yes. So, yep. Daft Punk, Something About Us. Uh, it's Love from the Interstellar. Very excited about this. And their artwork is always good. Just very, like, a Kira Toriyama look. Check that out. You go. I'm done here. Yeah, I've been kind of wondering what was um, special, basically, about this version of it. So, of course, this is special because of what it is. I mean, this is an oh, yeah. absolute classic in the metal yeah. world. 
so influential. There's monumental records that sonic kind of happened in the history yeah. of metal, and this was one that kind of introduced what I guess what do you call it, mellow death. Yeah, yeah. I mean when you mellow think death. about so much has spawned off yeah. of pretty this, much this every kinda... band after this sounded like this. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it is on orange vinyl. Um, it's kind of it makes it look like it's a Japanese, you know, like a Japanese press. press. Yeah. <laughs> so um, it has um, liner notes by bassist Jonas Pirlo. So, I mean, this is just, even if it wasn't a Records A version, it's that, just something we need to have. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so important. Metal classic. So, what's next? So, we got the Tom Tom Club. Yep. Genius of the Love 2000 remixes. I was saying this is a limited edition color vinyl that's got limited, uh, that's got remixes of the Tom Tom Club classic from Money Mark, Mexican Institute of Sound, Senior Coconut, and more. Let's go. So basically, it's all the same song remix nine times. Yeah, yeah. that is yeah. kind of interesting. I mean, I think Tom Tom Club is a great band, so yeah. Sweet. All right, this is one we got, uh, I feel like, a good bit of requests on um, Lil Peep. Um, so I think this might be another one where you might have to show up a little early if you want to get a copy. Yeah, this is all that. we got. Uh, who knows? Limited availability. <laughs> Limited availability. <laughs> and then last week, I, you know, we had showed that we had gotten some Laney Wilson, so we had gotten another one in there. Uh, seven inches, actually two seven inches on here. So then Lizzie here, which we already showed you. Got so got those. Yeah, so those are all Then Lizzie. We got here. That's um, oh, garbage. Want to take that one? I'm not saying it's garbage. Wow. No, wow. Wow. <laughs> it's a cool call. Record Store Day 2024 exclusive. Limited edition color vinyl. Three previously unheard tracks and one remix. Cool, cool. Yeah, the artwork looks great. Yeah, the artwork yeah. looks yeah. sick. Definitely, yeah, there's the bag. Cool, man. I think that's going to be a oh, yeah. popular yeah. one. Alright, what's this picture disc looking thing? Yes. Maisie it's Peters. Like, I kind of picture this. But like, Maisie Peters. Alright. There we go. This is what it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> I guess the back. Yeah. yeah, it's just a see-through cloud. Mm -hmm. So I wonder mm -hmm. if the back is no might be etched because it's only. Well, I think it looks like it, all yeah. it's on one. Is it is it textured? On one side. Well, the songs are all layered A, so there's yeah. nothing on the back side. That's oh, okay. The, the gotcha. image is probably on the back side. No, so. that makes sense. Okay. Cool. All right. All right. And then yep. And then we got oh, another polish shoulder. Sure. All right. So we got some more. We're yeah, getting there, folks. We're getting there. Yeah. All right. So this is another one that is really popular. Um, Noah Khan is featured twice this record so day. Um, this is his uh, solo <laughs> record so day release. I guess I was, I am. Um, I got a bunch of copies. I'm gonna give this over to you all because I think this, the majority of this box, might be yeah, Noah New York Khan. this year. Like a bit of these. And we were actually allocated quite a bit. So, so is this all of these? Noah Khan? Yep. Alright, so we have plenty right. of Noah Khan. <laughs> <laughs> but we also get gotten a lot of questions about it. So I'm still thinking you might not want to wait too, too yeah, long no. to get here. <laughs> if, if this is one that you're on. Alright. Oh, this is a fun box. Alright. Yeah, Where's so Khalifa? Where's Khalifa? This is heavier than it looks. It's actually oh, a collection of uh, seven inch singles, um, five. So, yeah, kind of ties cool in with heavy. the 420. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it kind of just automatically looks like it. Yeah. <laughs> well, and speaking of, you know, diving yeah. into yeah, in the spirit of even 420, more. 100 <laughs> gags of snake so. eyes <laughs> pressed on a cannabis leaf. Got a few yeah. of those, it looks that like. It is really cool. Those are gonna go quick. Oh, yeah. For sure. I mean, even as a novelty item, that yeah. would go quick. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. All right. Ah, yes. So, David Byrne from Talking Heads and Paramore, each of them are doing their, you know, uh, single from the other. So, Paramore's doing Burning Down the House, and uh, David Byrne's doing Hard Times. Oh, sweet. So, yeah. 
And it's it's kind of like the old, uh, back when Record Store Day first started, they did, uh, I think they were called Side by Sides. Yeah, yeah, so exactly. It's similar to the Side by Sides, but on the 12 inch. That's cool. And speaking of Paramore, if you haven't seen part one or two of our unboxing, mm. that's more yeah, definitely. Paramore. Um, then we got David Bowie, uh, Waiting in the Sky. Um, if there's anything to point out, um, Half Speed Master. That helps. David Bowie. Mm -hmm. All right. Burn. Oh, oh, that yes. is. <laughs> yeah, that is what actually we've gotten some um, yeah. um, requests about too. South Park, the 25th anniversary concert, the three LP sets. Yep, so this is yep. the one that they wound up doing at the Red Rocks over there in Colorado, and they wound up pressing it on a three LP, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, so three LP set. So, got a few I, of those. Yep. Cannot wait, and of course, uh, you know, Tally, Mr. Hanky, they're all there. It's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming Primus is on this, right? Wait. Oh, yeah, a hundred percent. So, yeah, old Les Claypool and Primus, they did the South Park theme, so yeah, it's very exciting. <laughs> is that box in all right. or is that right. so, all so, stuff? So, no, we have, we have, we have one more box right up over there, that topper. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Stu, you want to do the honors on this one? Yeah, this is uh, GBI. This is Dave, Charlie Benante, and Scott Ian. Uh, they kind of got together in the studio and did a, looks like, Bad Brains cover. Looks very Bad Brains. It does look very Bad Brains. And I think, I, I don't remember exactly what the charity was, but I think... Oh, is it going money, to The charity? proceeds from this okay. go to some sort of charity. Oh, oh, doing nice. something nice. <laughs> and then we've got Chapel Rome, the Pink Pony Club. Yep, so that'll be on a uh, seven inch single there. We got a couple of those. Yep. All right, and then I guess should we go to the one that's been a lot of talk about? Oh, correct. Sabrina Carpenter, that was a ridiculously low amount that you yeah. pressed. So this is one of the most for a super popular yeah. release. One of the most exciting releases of Record Store Day, but one of the most disappointing in that they pressed very little. Right. This thing is like gold, trust me, it's, it's like yeah. gold. Yeah, we have a very low um, allocation, so if you're looking for it, make sure that you get here early. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we that's all we can say. We, yeah. we ordered yeah. like order. tens. Of, how many? Oh, we ordered forty. Forty. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, we got 40. nowhere near that. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, and then. Uh, so who wants to say this name? I got it. <laughs> Loive. Oh, Loive. Yeah, Loive. You have to use the back of your throat. <laughs> oh, gotcha. You know, okay. trust me. My niece has smacked me many a time yeah. for saying it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Loive. Oh, hey. A night yep. at the symphony. Sweet. All right. Awesome. Then these, I think, are more Another more Pearl Jam, Jam, more hundred gex. Oh, nice. nice. Right. Hope we, did we catch it all? I think yeah, we I, think, I think we all right. got it all from the shipment. And before oh. we forget, we want to point out, yes. I'm sure you're looking, or maybe not you, but the other person watching, Olivia Rodrigo, Noah Khan, maybe cool. the most requested one, Correct. at least for us, it is coming. <laughs> and it is, yes, it is supposed and to be we'll here tomorrow. Confirm. Yeah, we'll you know. confirm. Yeah, for sure. And we'll wind up doing some pictures, or maybe even a short reel to show that's there. So for tomorrow, we're supposed to be getting in Lily Allen. It's not me. We're supposed to be getting in Blur Park Life, and then the Olivia Rodrigo and uh, Noah Khan stick season. You know, double single. So yeah, so be on the lookout for that. You know, again, we'll wind up taking pictures. Um, as far as record store day itself. Um, be on, you know, be also on the lookout for another video where we'll wind up going through where we're going to line up. Um, you know, as far as where tables are going to go, a couple of different rules here and there, and everything, because we want to make sure that everybody has a very enjoyable experience and kind of, you know, is in the know. So, if you have any questions or anything, you know, feel free to reach out to us. You know, our number and information is below. Hit us up on Facebook, Instagram. Call us here at the store. We'll be happy to, you know, to answer any questions that you may have. All right, so, opening at 10 a.m. Yep. See y'all Saturday. All See right. you later, guys.